Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Harrison. This is Biohazard. We are here on episode two in Tesla, Oklahoma, due to bad weather. Uh, my partner was not able to make it here for the first match. He will be here, I have been told. For the second match, he's just having tr uh, troubles in traffic. But uh, we are here in Tesla, Oklahoma. We haven't been able to move uh, to a different place because of the bad weather. But here is Arik Tyler. We announced on Twitter it will be Arik Tyler versus Eli. Both debuting here. And, well. Um, both of them from trying to make an impact here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been told before the show that we will not be having episode 3. Episode 3 will be match card for the pay-per-view, but this has been our Tyler, and well, let's get to his opponent. Uh, not, not the theme I think Eli would choose more of smooth jazz, I would say. Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know what he's exactly dancing to. I'm kind of confused here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, dancing doesn't exactly match He's dancing, looks like he's dancing to hip hop, but you know, I guess. Guess he, we shouldn't bring him down. He is pumping up the crowd here in Tesla, Oklahoma, as he is set to face that man in the ring, Eric Tyler, right now. Uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, we will be hearing from Skylar Matthews. Later tonight, he will be announcing the next pay-per-view, and with that being said, I hope you guys um, stay tuned to see what he has to say. Don't change your TV channel, because this is going to be one incredible match. And as we're ready to set off, our Tyler immediately going for a neck breaker on Eli. Kick to the midsection from Arik Tyler, and now Arik, Arik Tyler trying to go for something, but Eli maybe going to reverse here into a huge, incredible, on-the-dot suplex right there. Eli now targeting the head area of Arik. Arik might be in trouble here. Already starting off with a suplex. It's been only like 30 seconds in the match, and both men are... Going back and forth, Eli being a veteran trying to roll out of the ring so he couldn't get pinned off that. And now, huge spear off the apron from Ark that could have costed Eli that should have just rolled out of the ring, I believe. I don't know how you would avoid a pin after that. Ark Tyler really bringing the speed, Eli bringing the height. If you're now just joining us now, Eli being in the red, and Narek Tyler being the smaller one in the trunks. And Raf counting four. Narek Tyler just came out of uh, training school. So we may see a few botches here tonight, and Narek Tyler just taking him down, punching him. I've never seen that happen before. Uh, 
at least here anyways. Eli definitely out of the two is probably, I'm going to say, would be the veteran. Uh, you, uh, even though Eli may not have that much experience, he does have more experience in the ring than Arik does. Eli now going with a huge neck breaker, targeting the head. He targeted the head a little bit earlier in the match, if you, were, you didn't see. Um, you know, Eli going, just targeting on the head, may, maybe uh, thinking about putting him away pretty soon after he weakens down that head area. Alright, Tyler might be in trouble. And now, Arik getting Irish whipped. And a shoulder tackle from both men. And now Arik Irish whipping Eli into the corner. And now oh, just the power of Arik able to lift him up. And now Arik Tyler looking to do something here. I don't even know what the hell he's... Oh, it's a German suplex off the top rope. And now Arik Tyler going to go for something here. And a double stomp to the midsection. And now Arik Tyler may be setting up for the comment, and it connects! Kick to the midsection. And now Arik Tyler, the perfect star! Is this gonna be it? Not enough to put away Eli. Came very close to, though. And now Arik Tyler going up on the mid rope, or middle rope. A huge elbow drop connecting on the dot on Eli. Eli able to get up after that. And Arik Tyler back on the advantage on Eli. Eli might be in trouble. He has to do something. And I think that's what he's going to do with a huge back to, or belly to back suplex. Now Eli just lifting him up and targeting the midsection now showing showing off to the crowd not the smartest idea but now I think Eli is filling the energy in him as he's got the crowd behind him huge leaping drop kick now really filling the crowd here tonight in Tusla Oklahoma and now Eli I don't know if that's the smartest idea man he gets away with that one Thing that Arik Tyler wasn't up, and Arik probably would have taken advantage of that. And now Eli going for the trifecta back breakers. And all three of them connect. Eli maybe gonna set up for the finish here. Rabalito drop! I believe that's what he calls it. Uh, we will be finding out what they call their moves next week. Uh, I got a chance to talk to Arik earlier, and he said that his move would be called the Perfect Star. As you saw earlier, I haven't got a chance to talk to Eli yet. And now, headlock onto... Eli right now, or headlock onto Arik Tyler, I mean, sorry for that, kind of botching for a second on my names, I've been saying both of them, both of the names a lot, and now Eli, setting up for a huge face buster, uh, inverted I would say, one, two, or face buster, not a face buster, a flapjack, sorry about that, still kind of botching a little bit. Um, but Eli still in full control. Arik needs to do something to come back here with a huge flying senton. Is that going to be it? Uh, I would have, if I was Eli, I would have pinned off that. Maybe I would have gotten a three count. Uh, now, uh, Eli going to set up something? No, 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 Eli. Don't, don't do this, man. You're, the, the guy's too short. Eli, you're gonna cause some serious damage to him. No, 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 Eli, stop. Stop, stop. No, no, Eli! 
huge suplex off the top rope. We might Ark might that was really short suplex. Ark could have gotten seriously hurt. I don't think he did, but he could have. Um, but I guess he's gonna have to keep fighting through the match. And now Eli gonna go for another suplex. I don't think he's hurt. I think Ark got it just right. And a huge spine buster. Art Tyler was trying to come back there. Eli could be in trouble here. I think Art fills the crowd now. He's trying to get the crowd behind him. And now going with huge knee drop to the upper body of Eli. And now targeting the arm. Just targeting everything he can on Eli. A smart idea, and now a huge spinning DDT. An inverted arm wrench DDT, I'd say, and now he's going to go for something here. Uh, huge front flip and trying to do something, but Eli reversed, and R. Tyler with a perfect star out of nowhere. Eli could be in trouble. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be it. He hit the perfect star. This is going to be a one, two, three. That's it. He, like, just barely came up short. Took too much time to pander to the crowd, and that costed him the victory. And here you see a comment. We're going to take a few re replays here. Both men fought very hard in their first performance here in Biohazard. But then there's only one winner. And ladies and gentlemen... I think we're going to take a short break, and we will uh, be right back. So, yeah, we will be right back after this commercial break. Sing it all come undone. This is how I feel. All the memories I've lost. To be free from the ones. True to be unreal. But I'm closing my eyes. To feel all. Do a suplex through the gate. Oh my gosh. My guys. Whoa. Skin splattering. Oh my gosh. TK. Oh my god. It yeah, likes to use. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 Oh my. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some more Biohazard as we're setting up for the next match, which I believe is Ryan Riley versus Nate West. Who do you got in this? I, I'm going to have to go with the man who really impresses me with his in-ring work. I've watched some of his stuff. He definitely is one person that is, should be feared on this roster, Ryan Riley. Yeah, he is... Definitely a pick. He's making his debut here tonight against Nate West. No, I mean, that's, that's not much of a challenge for somebody of Ryan Riley's status. You're, you're versus Nate West. Both men go back, back to SA3N. Uh, Ryan Riley wasn't there for them often. Uh, he was there for about a month and then left, uh, I believe. And then Nate West has been, you know, around the community. Nate West is very known, but he's known as the man who always comes up short. 
That's why I think he will continue to come up short here tonight. See Ryan Riley, he's got everything you need to succeed in this company. He's got the it factor, as they say. Well, he, I don't know why these fans are giving this man such a horrible reaction here tonight. Wait a second, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm getting word that uh, Ryan Wait, Riley what? may oh. have just won this match because Nate West has been... Uh, hold, hold on. Hang on. We're going to have to go back to our cameras here. Like, yeah. get, get the camera feed up. Come on. Uh, we need to get the cameras backstage to see what, what the hell happened. We're sorry for this, ladies and gentlemen. Well, We're... What we're, we're, about about? we're about to we're about to we're about to find out. Yep. Well, right oh, on. well, I guess he won't be making it out here tonight. Um. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we will be uh, right back after this commercial break. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and I think it's time for Skylar Matthews' update. Hold your breath and count. Since entrance music is hitting. This is the general manager of Biohazard and Project X. He is the man behind XWW Network. Uh, wait. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have just gotten a message um, from the general manager of Skyler Matthews. Um, can we please cut off the music here uh, and um, put what I have gotten up on this, the Titantron? I will be reading it uh, to each and every single one of you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your general manager, Skylar Matthews. Due to me having important business to attend to, I will not be able to be here tonight. But since I know all aren't patient, here is the first few matches that will be happening at the pay-per-view that he has announced will be called Extreme Resolution. Eli versus question mark, I guess we'll find out. Dallas versus Wacky Willie and Stigma versus Tyson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a note from uh, your general manager, Skylar Matthews. I am David Harris, and I had nothing to do with this. This was his decision. I was just told to read it to each and every single one of you. Uh, we will, I guess, we will be carrying on with the show. So, um, I guess next we will be having the number one contenders women's match. Um, so stay tuned. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back uh, for the co-main event. Uh, we just heard from Skylar Matthews that there will be a few matches. Eli will have an open challenge. Uh, Dallas Cage will face Wacky Willie, and Donald will find out his opponent later tonight. We will also have Stigma versus Tyson. I feel like I'm watching an anime character right now with this music. Yeah, this wow. is Hannah Yen made her debut at Biohazard Intoxication. Dude, I don't like goofy people. 
I feel like they aren't serious enough to succeed in this business. And she's way too goofy to succeed. Yeah. So I'm assuming you don't like Hannah Yen for like an anime. I'm not saying it's anime, but if you, there comes a point you need a serious attitude. And she she doesn't have that serious attitude right now. Okay, this is a cute game. This is Don Bates. She just came out of wrestling school. This is her first match. Oh, so we're getting botches ready. Um, uh, as far as I see, I don't see why any of these people are here yet. I'm, I'm gonna need some proving in this match. You're gonna have to prove something to me. Now, who are you going for? So just so I know who not to go for, because obviously you are going to So far, you. we got Hannah Yen. She loves, she clearly loves anime. We got Don Bates. I've been told she's a submission specialist. And then we have this person, Sophia Winters. Sophia is known in the independent scene. Who do you got out of anime lover, submission specialist? Sorry for that botch. Or um, Sophia Winters. I don't know a lot about Sophia Winters. I just know uh, she's. I, I've recalled. I've seen her in independent promotions. Small, not too big. This is going to be the biggest stage she's been on so far. Is hopefully we see her pretty soon. No, oh, there she is. Oh, there she. Whoa. Oh, well. Definitely brings a different attitude to the women's division here in Biohazard. Apologize, my headset isn't seeming to be working for folks. Yeah, we are still having problems with our headsets here. Um, they've been dusty from setting in the warehouse over the years that we've haven't been here. Uh, Plus, we were, I know this Sophia Winters. She, she creeps me out. Like, just yeah. she creeps me out in here. We will be getting those fixed by the pay-per-view that the general manager just announced is going to be called Extreme Resolution, where Extreme basically, resolution. basically uh, the challengers and the champions get to come together and choose their own stipulation for the match. Which I'm sure will come out very fine. I'm honestly excited to see what these challengers and champions come up with to put each other through. Hannah Yin, this red freak and Sophia winners. And anime freak, yes. A huge oh, suplex! German off the bat, is it over for Hannah Yin? No! Uh, we no, it forgot is not. to uh, tell you guys this is an elimination match for the number one contenders to Strawberry Suki's championship. Oh. What a snap suplex by Hannah Yin. What a, oh, some punches, man. We are rolling fast pace here. Sophia Winters sneaking in, but a drop kick to Sophia Winters. Oh, see, she's setting it up. She is set, oh. Hannah Yin. Now going after the leg of Hannah Yin. She, Hannah Yin, not seeming to get it so far. Like I said, she is a submission specialist. Hannah Yin might be in trouble here. Really putting the pressure on the arms and the neck there. And Sophia Winter's going to help her by trying to kick her off. Oh, 
think Hannah Ian and Sophia are trying to Oh my gosh, that super kick. Now some knees to the midsection. We saw this last week uh, from Tyson Brooks using it on Stigma. And now a huge suplex, but Don Bates gets out of it. Does a backflip out of it, actually. One, two, not enough to put away Hanny in. I believe my partner... Um, oh, my bad. My headset fixed, messed up again. Yeah, fixing his mic. Yeah, we will sorry. be getting those fixed pretty mess. soon. Oh. And now Hannah Yen and Sophia. Sophia breaking that one up. Sophia Usually. getting hit, though, hit though, for breaking it up. up. Now, Sophia might be in trouble here. I don't know what the hell this is. This is very new. Oh. Ooh. What a move. Uh oh, oh I think. Sophia doesn't know where she is right, right now, though. though. She, she might, might want to figure out. out. Oh. oh! Oh, what a cross arm breaker! Sophia's gonna have to. Oh no! Hanny in saving Sophia there. Sophia might have been in trouble. Oh, I think Hanny in's gonna pay for it. Oh my god! Face buster the second rope. One. Not enough. Oh my god, in here comes another suplex. No, suplex, a neck breaker. Hannah Ian, though, sneaking in here. Oh, German. Oh, what a German. Now going for the pin. Oh, it's going to be it. Trying to go for that oh, super kick, but Hanny Yin moved the out of the super way. Super kick and hit the corner. And she hits the super kick there. Big boot, but botched there. Didn't you say that Don Bates might be botching earlier? Yeah, I, I kind of called it. <laughs> First match out. Oh, but a pop up fastball punch. That could be it for her. Don Bates. Oh, what? She kicked out. I'm shocked. Oh, now Don oh. Bates could be in trouble. Ooh, I know that's called the Sophia Turner, though. And Hannah Yin going to steal the pin. Wow. If I'm Hannah Yin, that's a smart strategy, but oh, Don Bates kicked out at one, two. I think Sophia is kind of upset about that pin there. Oh, now I think Hannah Yin's going to pay for it right here. Oh my god, she's going for a buckle bomb! And now, Don Bates, but she reversed. Again. Huge drop kick. And now Hannah Yen with a huge German suplex. Both Sophia and Hannah Yen trying to team up on Hannah Yen here. Another huge fastball punch. Apologize, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. My, My headset, headset keeps, keeps messing, messing up, up here. here. I haven't seen it in trouble. Is this? Is this? Another, Another Sophia, Sophia Turner, Turner in the ring. ring. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our mic headsets don't want to work that well this week. 
Yeah, they're not very well with us. But Sophia went. Oh no! Oh, Don Bates drop kick. And now Don Bates may be looking to uh, finish her up, but uh, got to remember that Hannah Yin was eliminated, I believe. Was, was she? she? I, I I didn't I, see the elimination. I, I didn't either. I was fixing my headset. I'm not quite sure. Maybe she wasn't. No, oh, yes, yes, she was. She was. Sophia Winters versus oh, Sophia. Don Winters. <laughs> Sophia Winters versus Don Bates. Sorry, I'm botching. Um, my uh, allow me to bury my broadcast partner here, you stupid idiot. It's Sophia Winters and Don Bates. Get it right. And another huge another fastball. Fastball punch. In. I would cover up. Oh. I'm not going for what is she going for? Oh, going for a DDT or a suplex, whichever. And now, she might be in trouble here. Going after that arm. Oh. Sophia might be in trouble. Oh, oh got her the right. Cross the cross arm breaker again. The cross arm breaker again. Is she going to tap? Is she going to tap? No, Sophia's Sophia fighting. fighting. Sophia, Sophia is fighting, fighting with every fiber of her being to stay in this match. And while Don Bates couldn't make her tap out, it was the second time she put her in the cross arm breaker. And now, Sophia Turner. This could be it. Whoa! Whoa. I did I not expect, expect that. that. I, apologize. I apologize. I got I an important text, text on who might, might be Donald's, Donald's partner tonight. I mean, I mean the, the opponent, opponent tonight. tonight. Sorry, Sorry, folks. folks we're, we're botching, botching here. here. We, we, we are, are very, very experienced, experienced here at commentary. commentary. I feel like we're more uh, worried about the headsets than we are about the match. Yeah, but, uh, we really uh, are. But <laughs> Sophia Winters is your new number one contender. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. gentlemen oh. we are back as I believe this is the main yeah. event this is the music I like to hear this is the two faces of this company I like to see it is Donald the biohazard world champion and his partner Tyson Brooks the Renegades now you see you have a the phenom the phenom in Donald, and you have the man who who rid of rid us of stigma, coming here winning that world title. Great, I love him. Well, we have two of the competitors in the ring. Is, well, I guess we're setting up for the third, their partner. For tonight, oh God, I know who they, I, I don't like this guy so much. Uh, yeah, 
Well, I guess. Oh no. Oh no. Circus. Donald and Tyson music. Brooks are just looking at this like, what? What are we teaming with? Why are there bubbles? Why is there a bubble in my face? Get it out! Get it out! Get it out of my face! What is this? The circus isn't in town, kids. This is called Wacky Willy. Bubbles are still coming from the backstage area. No, no, what in what the... What am I looking at? No, what the heck is this? What? Why? Why would anyone let this man out of a mental hospital, a circus? Like, I think he should be in both right now. He looks like completely like a psychopath. <laughs> like, think about it. He went after a man named Dallas Cage, who's a tank. You need to be a psychopath to pick a fight with him. Uh, I think we know our psychopath. I mean, looks like he hasn't... I don't know if he even puts hair gel in his hair. And that's what I'm saying, man. Look at him. He looks like he gets out of bed and just comes to work. Oh. Well. Well, uh, I mean, uh, you can't get much more deranged than that. You about see, to meet their opponents. Oh, well, okay, you very well can get much more deranged than that with this guy. Look at him. This is the man they call Stigma. The man Tyson Brooks so rightfully helped us from him becoming world champion. And. Well, if Stigma wins at Extreme Resolution, Donald has to face Stigma for that world championship again. No, 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 no. I have faith that Tyson Brooks will get rid of this burden once and for all. Because let's face it, when you're in the ring with the Renegades, you gotta be prepared for a fight. I don't think Stigma's ready for that fight with the Renegade, one of the Renegades, let alone Tyson Brooks. Nah, he is not ready. Now, I guess we're moments away from finding out who will be teaming with Stigma and Dallas Cage. Yes. We are now the second man on this team. Well, here comes the Singapore tank. Man, that uh, definitely I, I, proves everyone wrong. Whether you like well, it or not. He's got to prove Wacky really, really wrong, all wrong right about now. Again, if you I, don't if know I who, him, I'll go ahead. If I were him, I would be wanting to get in that ring and destroy Wacky Willie right about now for what he did. He cost it, he cost that man a caught shot at the world title in which a match he was might have been the favorite to win. I don't I don't think Dallas Cage is afraid to hurt Wacky Willie. I mean he did thirty seven power bombs to Spash and Scott on tax. Oh my god. Scott, we still don't know if he's alright after that. And we're about to find out who Dallas and Stigma's partner is, and also the person and that's gonna be will face Donald. Yeah. Alright, I don't I don't I think it'll be fine. I think Donald and Tyson Brooks are prepared for. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, he did not. No, that is not the music I think it is. No, no, no. What? Tony Octave is here. Tony's here. Tony Octave is in Biohazard Wrestling. 
What? This is who's gonna be versing Dom? This is outrageous. No. You can throw anything at Donald, but you just threw an ace in the hole at Donald. You you are trying to screw him over with this man in the match. And challenging Donald for the world title? No. Get that man out of here. Get him out. This is not right. Donald See, definitely. Because he knows this isn't right. Donald's smile immediately turned to a frown once this theme hits. Uh, my face would turn to a frown too if this man was my next challenger. Face it, he's known in ROX. He is a main eventer if I've ever seen one. He is known around this community for what he is. He is someone that comes in and takes what he wants. We see Donald starting off with, oh, Sigma running right at Donald. He, Donald, Donald and Sigma, there is still some bad blood that right there. Stigma isn't letting Donald get anything right now off the bat. No, he's not. No, Donald coming back though. What is your game plan? If you were Donald, what would your game plan be going into defending your title against? Oh, uh, I wouldn't have a game plan. Like, oh my God, Wacky Willy and Donald showing some cooperation though with that move. It's like Wacky Willie, Donald, and Tyson Brooks are looking across at three monsters. Wacky Willie, we know he'll be versing Dallas Cage. We, Tyson Brooks, he'll be versing Stigma. If Stigma wins, he goes on to that get Donald next, if Donald retains against Donnie Octave. But a neckbreaker by Wacky Willie. Now, if I'm Donald and I look across to see Donnie Octave versus versing me for the world title, I would definitely come up with a solid A plan, which I'm sure he's already on. He's already finding a plan to win that match. Oh, wacky will. Oh no. No. Uh oh. Well. Whoa. Right through Donnie Octave and they do a niche. Whoa! And the Northern Lights! I know the Renegades use that as a. They've perfected that move as a tag team finisher, but these two just did it mocking the Renegades. Oh no. That was out of mocking the Renegades, I'm pretty sure. There's some bad blood here. You could. Oh, I, no. I think Wacky Willie's trying to figure out a wacky strategy or something here. Huge suplex right. out of the corner. Oh, there's his strategy. He's tagging in the world champion. He knows there's one man that can handle Dallas Cage. Uh, oh, no, wait. Um, Donald, what are you doing? The strategy's not going to... Don Donald, you might want to run. Donald might want to... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Huge suplex out of the corner. Um... Donald might want to figure something out here. He might want to figure out a game plan like the champion he is. Because we know Donald always has a plan heading into a match. Not again. Not again. No. Oh my god. All right. Donald really needs to think of something here. Donald, stop playing possum against him. Get your gear in rear or however that saying goes. Oh, Donald tossed his Dallas cage though. No. This is what Donald needed to do. He needs to slow down the pace. He needs to keep Dallas Cage from getting any offense. Definitely showing the strength. <laughs> Dallas Cage isn't Donald winning. definitely has. Donald shown a lot of strength, but they're having a stare down right now. But Donald hits the SOS. The SOS. Now maybe gonna try to finish it up here. Oh, I know exactly. He's going for the Phenom's Edge. This is a move. He calls up. No! Dallas Cage is not letting him get the oh, feet on. By one shoulder. Him. He picked him up by one shoulder. Oh my god. Now Dallas Cage looking to do something here. Oh no. Just hitting him with the forearm. Oh no. D Dallas Cage. It's a huge body slam. 
Oh no, Donald might be in trouble here. Oh no, where is he taking Donald? Oh, Don no, Dad. No, 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 Oh no, my no. god, no! Oh my god! Oh, just punching Tyson Brooks off the... And wacky Willy. Saw that one coming. And so did Dallas Gage. You know, Donald getting back in the ring. It's a huge maneuver right there. Donald's keeping the offense up here. He's keeping it on. He's going for a wrench DDT. But nope, Dallas Cage was not having the wrench DDT. And now tagging in Donnie Octave. We're gonna do something here. One oh, goes up, oh, one goes and down. here we go, champion and challenger finally facing off here. Donnie Octave, oh, and you know it's Dallas Tate. Oh, he's going right after Wacky. Oh my God, Jesus! But look, the plot. Here we go, two men that will also face off. Stigma and Tyson Brooks are going on and now. Donald and Wacky Willie are out on the outside. They are out cold, so it's down to one man, but Stigma. Stigma is rolling. He is rolling right now. Tyson, as much as I love the Renegades, they are not, they have no strategy right now what they're doing. The Donny Octave is surprised definitely threw them off guard here what to do. Now Stigma right here with a huge neck breaker oh, to Tyson. A huge neck breaker. This Stigma character definitely has the tools to become a champion. He just has to use them right, but Tyson Brooks runs out of it. Oh, a kick right to the chest. One, two, two. No, enough. he kicked out. No good. Huge maneuver there from Tyson Brooks. One vicious elbow. And now Tyson Brooks really taking the striking and the knee to stigma right there. And a huge Northern Knight suplex. Stigma could be in trouble right here. Or not Stigma, Tyson uh -oh. Brooks could be in trouble. Tyson Brooks really hasn't had that much offense. And a huge oh, maneuver. A oh my goodness. Oh no. Rolling Tyson, out that was smart. But the Renegades bumped into each other there. A little miscommunication, but Tyson, though. Huge fastball punch. Now Stigma trying to tag in Dallas, and Dallas gets tagged in. Oh, now a huge... Both of the biggest men in this match, I would say. Now Dallas Irish whipping him into the corner. Huge maneuver there, big body splash. And now Wacky oh, Willie get tagged. Uh oh. Uh oh. What? You know, as Donald gets off the check on Tyson. I don't know if Donald wants in this with Wacky Willie. Donald's getting back up there though. I thought he was gonna stay out of this because Wacky Willie did this to himself, honestly. What a power bomb! Up oh, and Donald just punched off. Cover. One. One. Two. Two. Three. That, I'm not surprised by that. Donald didn't see that punch coming, I don't think. Just got him right I in the side Donald, of the tongue. I think Donald and Tyson Brooks just kind of gave up on Wacky Willie there. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I this has been Biohazard. Uh, go ahead. I... After this match, we can officially say the main event of by at the pay per view will be Donnie Octave versus the Phenom Donald for the world title. Tune in at the pay per view.